Yo, what's going on guys? Six here. Welcome to another video. Yes, this is actually the first uh, face cam video I'm doing, but this is just for the updates for the future uh, Dead by Daylight, which is coming up in later in September of this month. So I'm going to break it down for y'all. I'm just going to, you know, explaining and tell you what it does. So let me um just tell you what it does. Yeah, I know my desk is a little messy, but it's okay. I'll fix it up in a minute. And let's just uh, get into it. Oh, I'll put my mouse right there. And let's just talk about it. So first, the big major update is the Mori's. Um, basically new, the killer can now perform a Mori on the final survivor without using any offerings. So more Memento Mori is now like not a necessary offering. Uh, objects obstruction the camera during the Mori animation will fade away. Basically the big issue, you know, with like, oh, survivors in the corner, you don't see the full Mori. That's cool. Rework, Memento Mori offerings have a new effect. You gain a large blood point bonus when performing a Mori on the final survivor. That's cool. So let's see what the dev notes have to say about this. When the finishing Mori system was tested previously, many found it in the surrounding gameplay changes to have too large of an effect of the, on the match. We have to scale back the system to better suit what players expect from it. Killers now have the option to kill the final survivor if they choose so. This would provide some visual flair and create a satisfying end of the match, blah, blah, blah. Send this change since this change would make Memento Mori offerings obsolete, we have to rework them to instead reward the killer with large amount of blood points, da 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 da. We add a new mechanic which hides nearby objects, yeah, all that stuff. Now let's get into the perks, survivor perks. Uh, power 2, it has a new, um, it's a minimum update, but I don't think it's a good perk because, you know, sticking together is a big malfunction uh in the gameplay uh basically the perk will linger when out of range for a few seconds re-entering it uh expires to maintain the oh uh, wait re-entering this range before the lingered time expires will maintain the effects basically increased range 8 to 12 to 16 was 12 meters uh no longer has a cooldown uh no longer deactivates when either survivor loses health states da, 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 da. i don't think it's a good perk though i'm not going to explain the dev notes because i just think it's stupid and it's kind of like blood pack because blood pack is when you gotta um do with the obsession and whatnot collect the strength basically uh if i remember what this perk does once you heal i think you hide scratch marks with your teammate and whatnot uh basically does the same thing with uh power two uh corrective action i don't know what they want to change this perk for, but we'll see. Change. Now applies to survivors within 8 meters, plus cooperating on the same action. Change. Prevented failed skill checks now become a great skill checks. Was good skill checks. Okay. Inner focus. Now, this is the perk I kind of was happy for because this is a Hattie perk, and I, I'm glad this perk is getting uh, buffed. But basically what uh, inner focus does is, let's say I am um, 32 meters within a survivor, and if that survivor gets injured... I see that survivor, but I also see the killer. So pretty cool. So let's see what they change. Increase or reading narration to six to ten seconds. It was three to five. That's a that's kind of a big buff. I'm not gonna lie. Remove remove range requirement. That's cool. So basically, you could just see it any time in the trial. So yeah, that's cool. I'm glad they're changing inner focus because that's kind of one of my favorite perks. So now that's going to be kind of a meta perk. I'll probably make a video on it. Who knows. Uh, we're going to live forever. Increase healing speed bonus to 150 was 100. They removed their endurance effect. No longer needs to be activated. Uh, new. Added a 30 second cooldown to the endurance effect. That's nice, I guess. Um, cool. Uh, poised. Uh, poised. Basically, when you first start repairing a generator, you see the killer's ore for 6 seconds. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and carries 10 to 14 seconds. It was 6 to 10. That's cool. Blood Rush. I got a major update. Blood Rush is a perk. Oh, by the way, let me tell you what Poise does. Poise, basically, I think it's when... Uh, if you were on a gen... Uh, some, something like that. If you're on a gen, then... Um, you would see the killer's or And then, like... You would see it throughout the match. With it. I don't really remember... Something about the scratch marks hitting when you leave it. A blood brush. Basically, if you're on your second hook and you're exhausted and uh, you're healthy, you basically get to get broken and injured. And after some seconds, you 
get no exhaustion no more and you're healthy again. I think that's how Blood Rush works. I kind of forgot. Let me know. Um, Blood Rush now activates for 40 to 60 seconds after being unhooked. Uh, that's cool. Previously activated permanently when you were on one hook away from death. Blood Rush now deactivates upon performing a conspicuous action. Uh, it deactivates when the exit gates are powered and no longer heals or provides the broken status effect. That's cool. Quick Gambit. Now, this is a perk that I kind of use nowadays. Basically, when you're chased, the highlighted gens that are red get a speed bonus of, what, 9 or something? I, oh, 8. It was 8. Oh, wait, no, it was 5. Oh, okay, never mind. So, let me see. New. When chased, see the ores of other survivors with Quick Gambit. That's pretty nice. Uh, Quick Gambit has now a 60-second cooldown upon losing a health state. Ooh, okay. That's, uh, that's bad. Because Quick Gambit was really a perk that I made a video on. And it was fun to play with because it was really nice. Even if you were still injured, you didn't have to serve no consequence. But I guess the consequence is still now serving with it. Um, reduce repair speed bonus to 3 to 5 was 6 to set 8. Uh, repair speed bonus no longer has a limited range. So basically, uh, it's free open, but only survivors will be getting 5% maximum instead of eight so basically quick game it just got fucked that's that's nice cool i wonder why quick game previously required survivors to lead this, the killer towards the generator in order to get any benefit this is very risky and often resulted in the killer chasing those survivors instead this perk no longer has a range requirement and now shows the orders of other survivors you can do the opposite keep the killer away from them to balance this out, Quick Gambit will now go into cooldown upon losing health state, making it more challenging to activate and providing the killer a way to play around. I got it. Distortion. Now, this was a big one I was talking to my friends about because Distortion was a perk that uh, my friend CB actually likes using because she just likes the perk. Let's see what they did to it. Distortion no longer has tokens and instead deactivates once used until the next time you are chased. Makes sense. Increased duration to 8 to 12 seconds uh, was 6 to 10. Distortion counters a lot of perks and add-ons. This token system was recharged mechanic makes distortion far too effective and allows survivors to go unseen for the entire match, basically. Um, remove the token system, all that. Okay, that's cool. Lucky Star. Lucky Star got a minor update. Let's see what it got. Now it suppresses grunts of pains and pools of blood as long as you are in the locker. The effect lingers for 30 seconds after exiting the locker. That's cool. It was 10. Remove. No longer reveals survivors or generators ores. That's great. Uh, now we're on the killer perks. Let's get with the killer perks. So genetic limits. Uh, also, hold on. Let me tell you what distortion does real quick. I'm sorry if I'm missing these. Distortion, basically, if the killer uses their uh, aura reading, um, basically, it's, it would take a token away from distortion. You would hide your aura and you would leave no blood or uh, scratch marks whatsoever for uh, 12 seconds, but or 10 seconds. Uh, Lock and start, basically, uh, if you're injured, and you hop in the locker, it hides your uh, grunts of pains and everything. So basically, it's kind of like an iron will inside of the uh, locker. Now, let's go into the killer perks. Genetic limits. Basically, if you would heal someone uh, that were was injured, then um, basically you would get exhausted. Rework. Anytime a survivor loses a health state, they suffer from the exhaustion. For six to eight seconds. Oh, that's a big buff because everyone's not going to be running that with um that lich perk with the birds and everything. Not that's nice. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Then we have leverage. I forgot what this perk does. I think it has to do something with hooking and with gen process. I forgot. Oh, the speed. So if you hook people, the healing speed wouldn't have been fucked. So let's see. Rework. When a survivor performs an unhook, their healing speed is reduced by thirty to fifty. Uh, percent for 30 seconds cool uh thwack uh i forgot what this perk does uh i don't really recall this perk uh being used a lot thwack now starts with three tokens gain one token upon hooking the survivor when breaking the pallet or break the wall consume one token and call survivors with 24 meters to scream 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 and reveal their location for three to five seconds machine le learning 
The most recent damage generator becomes compromised. Yeah, I read all about that shit. They're fixing that. Deathbound. Uh, Deathbound no longer has a distance requirement to activate. Deathbound no longer has duration. And instead, deactivates when the healer is hooked. Uh, Zenshin Tactics. Who the fuck runs this thing? When survivors is within 6 meters of a drop pallet with a 16, their aura is shown. Oh, so they got aura now. Never worked it. Now, Dead Man Switch, this is the perk that has been, like, in the process. But, holy shit, this, this was a fucked perk. Uh, but it's nerfed now, so let's talk about it. Oops, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. So, change. Now applies for the first survivors who stop repairing the generator. Increase duration to 40 to 50 seconds was 20 to 30. Yeah, it got fucked. So... Well, that go basically you hook someone, um, everyone else that was injured would suffer uh, hemorrhage and um, deep, uh, the other thing, exhaustion, I think. I don't remember. I guess I don't know. Uh, Blood Echo no longer has a cooldown, reduced duration to 20 to 20, uh, 30 seconds. That's cool. Crowd control. Now, crowd control got fucked too. In the last three, five volts, which a survivor rush vault, rush vault. Are blocked by the entity. This lasts until the hex totem is cleansed. That's terrible. Wow. Uh, killer updates. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Predator is the last one. No one really runs this perk. Um, when the survivor escapes the chase, reveal their ore for six seconds. This perk and then goes on the cooldown for sixty down to forty. Uh, let's go to the killer. Uh, Skull Merchant. Wow. Skull Merchant got a mouthful so so let's talk to her about this so decrease hindered penalty when scanned by a drone to five percent it was 10 skull merchant no longer gains haste when scanning a survivor thank fucking god that was annoying when i went to go sir uh reduced number of drones to scan lines to one was two drones are now always in their active state drone scan lines are now invisible beyond 60 meters that's kind of big now, Billy, you know, Billy gets touched every single time, but he's still a goat regardless. <laughs> Decrease time before the overdrive starts to dis display to 8 seconds. It was 15. Decrease overdrive mo movement speed of 11.5. It was 13. Decrease overdrive charges gained while revving and sprinting to 1.5 was 2. Uh, increase chainsaw miss attack cooldowns to 2.7. It was 2.5. Uh, yeah, Billy has some good popularity, he has some tuning, and yeah, everything. Uh, the twins got a weird, I, I don't see anyone run this killer, but I mean, shit, it's nice to see twins get something. Increased victor school down when crushed to 20 seconds was 15. Increased school down after victor downs his survivor to 3.2 seconds, and it was 2.7. I want to see why. Following their update earlier this year, the twins saw a sharp increase in lethality. Lethality, yeah, whatever that word is. To keep them in check, have slightly increased how long it takes for Victor to recover after downing a survivor. We also slightly increased how long it takes for Victor to become available after being crushed by a survivor to make it impactful when the survivor is just pulled off, blah, blah, blah. And then we have our last one. We have Mr. Unknown. So, new HUD. HUD update to display teleport cooldown 8 and hallucination spawn time. Movement speed now decreases sooner when charging your power. Increase teleport recovery by 15%. Adjustments to blurry photo and vanishing box add-ons. That's fair enough because vanishing box is literally fucking overpowered. Uh, I, I played them a little bit. Basically, I think what it does is that um, once you finish a generator, you get the UVX... Um, uh, affection or something i don't know what it is but you get uvx with the survivors and improve visual and audio feedback when using uvx yeah whatever so we tend to re revisit killers a few months after they release and see if they need any balance changes it turns out the unknown is already in a pretty good spot and is well liked by the killers so that makes our job easy this time around tapping the power button can postpone a hallucination from spawning but to a survivor it appears as if you're about to launch uvx this forces survivors to constantly dodge and lose distance without slowing down the killer. We reduce the window before the killer slows down while charging their power. This will make it harder to tap the power button without slowing down while focusing on the chase. Uh, we while yeah while focusing on the chase, we notice that the 
Valeri Feldon add on is a fan favorite, so we have to incorporate part of its effect in the, into a base kit and tone it down to compensate. This will allow more freedom to experiment with other add ons of elements. Now, we also toned down the Vanishing Box add on, which was the stronger side, by adding a trade off increase to Hallucination Hol Spawn Time, which really no one doesn't give a shit about the Hallucination Nations. Lastly, we improved the, the VVX, SSX, and using the UVX. Yeah, that's a lot of X's. God damn. <laughs> That's funny, they added on those don't affect balance and make clear blah blah blah. So yeah, that's it. That's um all we have from the patch notes. So September coming along. Honestly, I think the big impactful ones is more of the killer perks, and I just don't see why people are going to um enjoy Dead Man's Switch anymore because I just don't think it's gonna be fun anymore. But anyway guys, that'll be it for today's video. Make sure y'all have a really wonderful day and enjoy y'all's day tomorrow. This is Sticks, and I will see y'all in the next video. Laters.